Here we have a log equation. But what's different with this log equation is that we have the base of the first one as 2 and the base of the second log as 3. If the bases were the same, we could just combine the two logs into 1 and multiply the arguments and solve for the value of x. It's not that hard if the bases were the same. However, when the bases are different, we have to go through some extra process. First, let's take a look at the change of base theorem, which we're going to be using to solve this equation. The theorem says that if you have log of base AB, it can be written as log of base CB over log of base CA. Notice the base on the top and the bottom are the same. So the one we use more often is log of B over A, where the bases are 10. Or the one I prefer is natural log of B over natural log of A. So when you're given log of base AB, you could rewrite it into any of these three formats. Then let's take a look at that log of base 2x. We could change that as log of x over log of 2. Once again, notice I'm using the ones with the base of 10 on the top and the bottom. What's important is that the base on the top and the bottom, or the numerator and denominator, are the same. Also, if, when we see that log of 3x, I changed it into log of x. Notice the argument goes on the top. Log of 3, or the base, goes on the bottom. And of course, equals 5. Next, notice that we have the log of x here and log of x here. So what we want to do is we want to factor out the log of x from these two fractions, making it into this, where we have 1 over log of 2 once we factor the log of x out. And also we have 1 over log 3 once we factor the log of x out times log of x, of course, equals 5. Then. At this point, we don't want to continue to have this 1 over log 2 plus 1 over log 3 with us because it's just too much work. We want to plug this, everything that you see in this parentheses, in the calculator where we get 5.42 if we round it off to two decimal places. If for a more accurate answer, you can round it off to three or four decimal places as well. But usually, two decimal places will do the job. And next, what we're going to do is just go ahead and divide it by 5.42 on the left and 5.42 on the right to get rid of that 5.42. We now have log of x equals 5 over 5.42. And then we're going to rewrite this log equation into an exponential equation to solve for x. We have a 10, so number. The base of that log is 10. And then we take that argue, uh, exponent on the right side of the equal sign and put it up here. And of course, we set that equal x. Then we get x approximately equals 8.366 if you round it up to three decimal places. So again, if the bases are same, it's not that bad. You're able to combine the two logs and then change it into an exponential equation. However, when the bases are different, we have to go ahead and use the change of base theorem and go through some extra process to solve for the value of x. As always, thank you for watching my videos. And if you haven't already hit that like button or subscribe, please do.